Fifteen moments after the explosion, as a fierce fire started to sweep through the carriages. The train was the 8 a.m. Enterprise from Dublin, and it had made three stops in the journey to Belfast at Drogheda, Dundalk and Portadown, but just where the bombs were planted remains a mystery. A warning phone call was made to the Samaritans in Portadown, but by then the train was nearing Belfast. The first bombs exploded in the dining car as it passed through Botanic Station. Someone pulled the emergency cord and the train was stopped when grips with the blaze, the uninjured passengers were taken to a nearby church hall and then completed their journey to Central Station by bus. The police want to talk to any passengers they haven't already interviewed. They're asked to contact detectives at Donegal Pass. The woman who died in the attack hasn't yet been identified. She was aged between 50 and 60, was about five feet tall with grey hair. She was wearing a blue coat, white sweater and blue skirt. She was also wearing a distinctive ring with two hands clasped over a heart and crown. Anyone who can identify the dead woman should contact police immediately. It's not the first